Today we are going to learn how to create a network security group with the help of PowerShell and then we'll learn how to edit the rules for example if you have an existing NSG how would you add or remove rule and maybe in next video we'll learn how to change the NSG on an NIC of a virtual machine so let's get started so I told you this already let's get help if you want to create a new security group it would be AZ network network security group okay that's network security group and let's go to the examples we got two examples here one shows us how to create a rule and another one shows us how to create an NSG so let's copy this one and put it here similarly copy the another one come on and okay this will help us to create the NSG and rule without typing a lot of things eventually we're going to type the same thing right okay now I need to make it that sign here no not this one but okay all right uh, let's not waste time and move it in a single line all right and this one as well okay before we do that let's come to the new AZ network security group we all know that new will help us to create a new one give it a name PS hyphen NSG one resource group is RG uh, we have already given the variables there and location is dollar location right here so now if we we'll run this what will what will it do it will create the NSG here new security group and it will create the NSG it has been created now let me make it bigger and do this dollar NSG let's get the information get AZ network security group okay what was the name that we have created with its PSNSG one okay now it will ask for the resource group for sure for every resource we need resource group that would be dollar RG okay now under NSG we would have this information okay if I go ahead and do this dot info we can have the default security rules you can see right here okay but we do not need default security rule we need to create the rule configuration that's why we copied this one from the example this will create the rules and we call it network security rule config okay now let's go through this rule config command which is coming in this variable it says new config rule the name would be RDP rule description is allow RDP access is allow or deny you need to choose allow protocol TCP HTTP HTTPS and those kind of protocols you got to select the TCP or you can select this asterisk you know direction is inbound so that's this is the definition of your rule when we create from the portal this is the port range you can create as many rule as you want just copy and keep pasting into different rule rule 2 rule 3 and change the access name and of course the priority a source port range destination port range those kind of information as per your, as per your requirement 
so I have put it in the dollar rule one this has this rule created now I need to attach this rule to the existing energy that we have created which is under dollar NSG okay now under dollar energy we saw the default rules but we also have security rules and we need to add this in the security rules so let's put it like this that we have already done before rule one <coughs> enter now if I do this sorry I just forgot to show you I think but this will give us the this security rule is attached with the energy dot security rules okay now what we need to do we need to update it right we always do we need to update the security group and how will we do that we'll do dollar NSG and set AG network security network security group updated and now that's how we create and we update our security group so if I need to summarize this this create that's how we create the new security group with the default rules if we need to add the security rules we need to create the security rule configuration with the help of these command lines and we need to attach that security rule config to the existing security group or if you want to create the rules and NSG together all you need to do is what you need to create the rule first like for the RDP for the HTTP and then you need to create new security group just like this new security sorry AZ security <coughs> network network security group give it a resource group let's give it dollar RG and no 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 not now not now dollar RG then we need to provide the location just like above command okay then we need to provide the name of course just like we did there above and what is the name let's provide it a different name let's do psnsg2 now what we can do we can add the security rules right here dollar rule one so if you already have these rules with you you can add these rule in all the new security group just like that this command let will create a new network security group with name NSG2 in the same resource group same location with this rule okay that's how you can do it <clears throat> now if you have more rules like this for example let me copy this if you have more rules like this mm, let's suppose you have one more rule here and with the different access or protocols and everything and you call it rule 2 you can add that rule here with the comma dollar rule 2 that's how you can do it so that's how you create along with the security group if you if you already have the existing security group in the previous way we showed you how you can associate that rule config with the existing security group so that's all about it in next video we'll definitely go ahead and uh, change the energy on the uh, NIC of the virtual machine well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye bye